Here is an example of multi-body free body diagrams. There are two masses tied together by a string with another string pulling on the mass on the right. To construct the free body diagram, do not combine the two masses just yet. You must construct the free body diagram for each mass separately. For the first mass, act as if it is still isolated. The tensional force on it is still an outside force. Don't forget to set up a coordinate system for this free body diagram. Now draw the free body diagram for the second mass. It too must yet be treated as isolated. Draw the tensional force by the string from the first mass acting on it. Set up its own coordinate system. Now consider the commonalities between the two connected objects, such as acceleration and forces that one acts on the other. In this case, since the string connecting them is massless and unstretchable, the tensional force throughout must be the same. With the string being unstretchable, they also share a common acceleration. When we set up Newton's second law on each of the bodies and combine the equations, we see that they act as a single mass acting on by only the outside force to the system. This is an important check on your results. All internal forces should disappear from the result. Also notice that the two tensional forces may not be equal. The outside force on the system may be different from the force internal to the system. Hence, including the outside force on a body where the outside force does not actually apply is wrong. Treat it as a different force. 